right? You may or may not be aware of a story that's been circulating online over the last few days, and it's about the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, allegedly buying not one, but two super yachts in October this year. Now, apparently he bought them through proxies, uh, two brothers who he's known for a long time, Sergei Shafir and Boris Shafir. They're both on the market. Uh, one of them is called Moti Yacht Lucky Me and is based in Abu Dhabi. The second vessel is based in Antibes in France and it's named Moti Yacht Legacy. So the question is, did President Zelensky buy two super yachts in October? Now we're going to address this uh, subject based on a video that a lot of you sent to us uh, and it's from a YouTube channel that's called Redacted and they are supposedly a news channel and they are the ones that have brought this story. So the person who broke this story uh, and is referred to in the video as a journalist is named Shazad Nazir, according to the YouTube channel. Now his YouTube channel has less than 100 followers and it's got one single video on there and that's the one that we're talking about, the one that says that Zelensky bought these two yachts. There's no other content on the channel. So according to the documents that uh, this journalist has uncovered, the two yachts are named Lucky Me and My Legacy. The one you're looking at here on your screen uh, is Lucky Me, and the other one is My Legacy. See in the upper left-hand corner of your screen there, and you can see the purchaser, and you can see the name right there in the second box, and you can see the purchase date and the purchase price. All right, so you've just seen a clip where he's referring to these forms that seem to show the purchase of these two yachts. The evidence that's on screen there is taken from that single video from Shazad Nazir's YouTube channel. Now, what is this form? Before we, before we dive into the form, you, you need to understand what this is. Uh, the, it's actually a contract for the sale of a vessel known as a Memorandum of Agreement or an MOA. And it's by the Mediterranean Yacht Brokers Association, also known as the MYBA. So who is the MYBA? They are, this is according to their website, uh, MYBA is the creator of the industry's most respected and widely used contracts, which is what we're looking at. The MYBA Sales and Purchase Agreement, or MOA, and the MYBA Chartered Agreement, which together with their associated documents are regularly updated as regulations and the global markets change. It's very important that, that I point that out, regularly updated. It's going to, it's going to come up in a minute. On screen here, we're going to be looking at uh, the two sets of documents that they are referring to, these MOAs. Now, on the left-hand side of the page, you've got one of eight. If you look in the top left-hand corner, you can see it clearly states one of eight. The middle page says two of eight, and the one on the right says eight of eight. So it's not a full document, but we've got these three documents to work from. So now remember, these forms are supposedly drawn up by different brokerages, one being Burgess Yachts, the other one being Benmar Yachts. Uh, they're two separate brokerages, right? So they are selling those yachts, two different companies. We contacted the MYBA and they confirmed to us, that's the form, they, they wrote this form. And, and this is what they said. They said, the forms appear to be an old version predating 2012 that is no longer endorsed by the MYBA. Remember we said earlier that they regularly update these forms as the regulations change. So the form predates 2012 and they haven't been used in, what, 11, 12 years? Now the forms are meant to have been signed in October this year. That's just last month, but they're over 11 years old. Now they, they were able to examine the forms because obviously we sent them copies and, and they came back with further information. They said the M MYBA Memorandum of Agreements, which is what we're looking at, this is a standard form and whether current or previous versions, as in this case, referring to the fact that it's an old version dating, predating 2012, it's usually only modified by an addendum. So what does that mean? It means that if anyone needs to make a change to this contract, because this is a contract, then they will, they will add a page with an addendum on. They won't change the form itself, right? There's actually data that runs up the side, the, the side of the paper that says if there's any changes to this form, it can impact its validity. Uh, the spokesperson from MYBA goes on to say that, however, the pages that we have seen have several sections missing compared to that particular version, old version, of the MYBA uh, Memorandum of Agreement. There are boxes and the signature lines missing 
from pages one and eight. And you can see, for example, that the stakeholder box, which appears on the second page, which is the page in the middle, but the stakeholder signature line has been removed on page eight, which is the page on the right. So below there, I believe there should be a, a section there that says stakeholder signature. It's completely missing, right? Now that's strange enough in itself that they would make a modification like that. But the spokesperson goes on to say, we note that these modifications are identical on both forms, although they would have been drawn up separately by two different brokerage companies, right? You've got Benmar and Burgess. So how would they make the exact same changes to a form, which they're not even supposed to do, right? They're supposed to add it in an addendum. So, and the spokesperson says that is a strange coincidence. So it appears that the forms have been doctored and are not legitimate. Now, if these yachts have been sold, then it's easily confirmed by the broker selling them. So we contacted both brokers and asked uh, if the yachts were still for sale. We got a reply back from Burgess Yachts. Uh, the Burgess Yachts spokesperson confirmed to us that Motor Yacht Legacy, reported to be one of the yachts sold, has not been sold and is still very much for sale. And you can find that uh, if you want to view the advert for that yacht, you can find it in the description of this video. Anyway, we had a reply back from Benmar Yachting Consultancy. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but anyway, they said Moti Yacht Lucky Me is also still for sale. Here's the statement. They said these, there are statements going around that Benmar sold the Moti Yacht Lucky Me. These statements are totally wrong and false. We can confirm that the yacht has not been sold and is still for sale with Benmar as the exclusive listing company. You'll also find the link in the description for that yacht listing. All right, so let us know what you think about the information that we've provided here. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments. If you've, if you've noticed anything that we've missed or if you think that we, we haven't been, uh, you know, uh, unbiased enough in our, in our look at this, uh, these forms, which is the only evidence that suggests that these vessels have been sold. Uh, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section below and we'll discuss it and you know we might make a follow-up video most likely we will as more information comes out. Thanks very much for watching this video. You've been watching a Super Yacht News clip. If you'd like to see the full unedited Super Yacht News video you can click on the link over here. You can also find our channel links below here and if you'd like to see more shorter videos like this one be sure to subscribe to this channel.